God bless you, Dr. Kazumba Chaozi. I'm here to stand with you in prayer and to declare the power of God to change whatever situation you may be going through right this moment. I want to tell you, first of all, that uh, there is power in uh, yes. God works by the principle of us saying yes to Him. God is not a dictator. He's not going to bring a change in our lives when we don't desire that change. He's not going to bring any transformation in our situation when we don't allow Him to do what He needs to do with our lives. In another way, when we don't give to God our yes or open our lives to Him, there is nothing that is going to happen because God works by the principle of years. It's for that reason that I want to pray with you today that you're going to say yes to God because there is power in years. I actually say there is a supernatural power when we say yes. Listen, whatever you say yes to, that is what is going to influence you. Whatever we say yes to, that is what is going to take in, to take place in our lives. Yes acts like a door. When we say yes, we open that door. When we say no, we close that door. In the Bible, we see God move powerfully with men and women who said yes to him. We see Noah he saved a generation by simply saying yes. We see David uh, defeated Goliath by simply saying, yes, I'm going to go to the battle line. We see also Joseph, uh, he said yes to the dream that he had and embraced that dream. Even when the twisting and the tains of event in his life uh, tried to take that away, his years to the dream that God had shown him helped him to serve not only his family from poverty or starvation, but also for, from a, a nation. You see, a yes is so powerful. And we see Abraham as well in the Bible. He said yes to God. When God says, get up and go to the land I am showing you. He obeyed, disobedient, became a yes. And God works powerfully when we say yes to him. And also we see Jesus there. Jesus said years to die on the cross to be the payment, the atonement for our sin. His years and his blood that was spilled became a doorway for you and I to have our salvation, to have our forgiveness and to have our life back as God created us. You see your years can bring so many greater things. Your years can bring supernatural power. Your years can do something so powerful. I want to show you quickly a scripture here and we're going to pray together that as you say yes today, God is bringing healing in your life. As you say yes today, God is bringing deliverance into your life. As you say yes today, God is bringing every strength and whatever you desire to pass. Why? Because your years to God is an opening a door and your no to God is what is closing the door. God works by one principle alone. Our years. Listen, look at, uh, jo uh, look at Jonah. Jonah said uh, no to God. What happened to him? He ended up in the belly of the fish. He went into a wilderness moment. Even the children of Israel, they said no to God's instruction. And what happened to them? They ended up, they ended up in the wilderness for many, many years. Our years is powerful. And here is the scripture in Matthew 18, verse 18 to 20, that shows us what a years is. I know you know this scripture, but let's read this. It says that truly I tell you, whatever you bind on earth, that binding there is, uh, is, is what is no. In another way, whatever you say no to, he was a teaching here in regards to the law. Whatever the law says a no, it means no. But I want you to look at it here as a door. Because because if you bind, in another way, whatever you close the door to, it won't come near you. It won't influence you. And then it says here, whatever you, whatever you, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. And whatever you loose on earth will be, we have been loosened in heaven. And again, I truly, I tell you, if two of you on earth agree about any matter you pray for, it will be done for you by my Father in heaven. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, I am there among them. What he is saying is uh, when you say yes to each other to pray about this 
situation. I will be there and I will be give you, I'll give you victory. Listen, it begins by the power of saying yes. Today, if you say yes, Lord, forgive my sins. Yes, Lord transform my life yes lord change me god will open the right door for you and your ears will open the right door for you and you will have a no to the influences of the kingdom of darkness and that is what we should desire i want to pray for you right now that your ears to the word of god your ears to the covenant of god your ears to the power of god will bring deliverance to you right now father in the name of jesus i pray for my brother and my sister are watching right now I declare the power of the Holy Spirit upon them as they begin to say yes 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 Lord for the Bible declare your yes your, your, your promises are yes and amen I declare father open every doors in their lives bring healing and transformation bring deliverance and salvation in the mighty name of Jesus we come against every powers and works and the plans of the enemy against them God we we pray right now that we shut down every dose that allows the enemy to come in and we open the doors to the glorious praises and power and influence of the Holy Spirit we release the glorious presence of God upon each and every viewer right now around the world we come against the works of the enemy the plans of the enemy in Jesus name every assignment of the enemy today we cancel them by the power and the authority of the blood of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, that right now in Jesus' name, your salvation is taking place. Your deliverance is taking place. The power and the force of darkness are overpowered by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And I pray as my viewers begin this day, Lord, they are beginning from a position of authority and the position of power and victory for you have gone before them. As long as they've said yes to you, Lord, they have said yes to the glory of God. As long as they have said yes to you, Lord, they have said yes to the power of God. As long as they have said yes to you Lord they have said yes to change that comes from the kingdom of God I declare today in Jesus name salvation and deliverance and protection upon them in the mighty name of Jesus open every doors that needs to be opened Abba Father and close every door that needs to be closed oh God as we declare protection over them salvation over them in the name of Jesus we pray amen and amen now you are there you've never given your life to the Lord. It's impossible to say no to the devil. It's impossible to close the door to the enemy when you don't have God. It is the Holy Spirit that gives us uh, the power and the ability to say no to the works of the enemy. I just want you, wherever you are right now, just declare, Dear Jesus, I repent of my sins. Forgive me today. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. This is the beginning. Find a church where they're teaching the word of God so that you can grow in the spirit and I encourage you also for you to go to our YouTube channel we have lots of teachings that are going to be a blessing to you go subscribe to our YouTube channel and share with your family members that uh, this ministry stands with you in prayer you can also email me or text me your your prayer request and I'm gonna pray for you I'm gonna send a voice note to pray with you to believe with you that God is on your side and no wickedness shall prosper I against you for God has said yes to you to prosper you to change you to protect you until then God bless you keep going higher